This is my wife's face after picking a fight because she's hungry. She now has food in front of her and is trying to find a way to apologise. Watch closely as she reflects on her choices and fights with her ego to reconcile. You can see her eyes soften as she conquers the devil within. Note that it is still me who first offers the fist of reconciliation. My jaw is clenched and serious but my eyes soft and accepting. She makes a move. I offer my cheek. The scales are evenly balanced. Then out of nowhere, her special ability. Female logic. No, you have to kiss me and be my lover. No, you have to kiss me and be my lover. Ingenious. She unapologetically executes her female privilege card. Isn't this what my people fought for? To free ourselves from the shackles of this matriarchal tyranny? Lucky for me, I was raised in these streets. Uno reverse. No, because you're going to put makeup on my face. I used a makeup card. Subtle, but effective. How makeup on my face. She denied her makeup would stain me. She lied. It seems there are no depths to which she will not stoop to resolve the matter. Force, lies, this must be love. Now it's just a battle of perseverance. A game of chicken, but with lips. Note how she only ever leans in 60%. That's because the other 40% is the same as me apologising for something that she did. I won't be fooled. I lick my lips and let my mouth open ever so slightly. She thinks she has me. Just hold and wait. She has no plan B. And there we have it. She clutches a pregnant belly and admits defeat. No makeup on our face, no apologising for something we didn't do. This was executed to perfection and once again, we have defeated toxic femininity. That's right, laugh. Laugh it up, laugh at your own failure, you beautiful witch.